Hello friends, welcome back to this GCA ecosystem channel. Today we are going to talk about a very important character in the lives of all scientists. I'm going to talk about Runkov. Generally, not much is said about him, but he was the creator of the famous Runkov coil that generate very high voltage through direct current. And what is the importance of this man? Well, the great scientist appeared from him using bovines like our friend and famous Nikola Tesla, also Marconi and Edison. Many, many use the principle and foundation of this man called Runkov. This man spoke of the coil that I am going to hear. We are going to go to the board, how it works. Look. Runkov was born in 83 and dies in 1877. Nikola Tesla is born on 1853 and dies in 1943. It means this gentleman or stay today in some way was the master of this and others like Marconi and other inventions that emerged. That is why Mr. Runkov is very important. What did he determine? That making a coil produce an electromagnet, a magnetic field. In the sense that if he put another one on the outside with a greater number of turns, he produced an armature in the second coil and very high voltages. How did he do that? Through a platinum that I am now explaining to you. So, we are going to do a little experiment. This is an electromagnet. And I'm going to connect it here. And we are going to see how it attracts a small plate that is a piece of iron. I have already done it in other opportunities. And it becomes a magnet. Look, so this principle was used Runkov to generate the coil. So, how does the coil work? It has an electromagnet like this, and in front of it, a contact is absorbed like the belt, like the old belts. So, when the magnetic field is induced, the plate is attracted and the circuit is open. We are going to design one on this board, and we are going to make it work. And let's see that the importance of this coil. A lot of invention arise and a lot of very important things like what Nikola Tesla developed. Also Marconi's wireless telegraphy and a lot of other applications. I'm going to show this. This is the ignition coil. It's a motorcycle ignition coil. Because the first runk of coil were used to make the ignitions of the engine of combustion at that time. For example, the 4T, the famous 4T, made by Ford, used a coil to produce the ignition. Previously, the coils of were made ignited white cartridge and burned gunpowder sometimes inside an internal combustion engine to store it. Well, let's go back to the coil. It has an electromagnet. In this case, I'm using this coil that is an exact design. But this has a core a central winding like this and then on top of it a second winding with many more turns. So when the magnetic field is interrupted in the primary which will be the first thick coil, they induce that it has much more turn, a voltage that is proportional to the amount of turn. This is a transformer. It is the famous transformer that we see today. Look where the whole story comes from. It comes from the runk of coil. So let's go to the board. Actually, this is a battery that powers the primary of the coil. 
In this case, it is this cable. This cord is this little bar that is here. The contact I am going to simulate that is played is going to be the contact. When I energize the primary code, it will bring the plate and open the contact that opens the circuit. When it opens the elastic part, it goes back and the core and produce a lot of oscillations in the primary and generates a current of tension in the secondary. Nikola Tesla managed to make his famous coil also using induction. As Runkov determined, and look at the time I'm talking to you in this period, he had already designed this coil. When Nikola Tesla used this coil, plus his improvement, which is his coil, it was always based on this principle. Marconi Wireless Telegraphy also used this system. We tried to put together a homemade system for you. I am going to install this ignition coil of motorcycle to see if I can simulate what I want you to learn. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to make it work this way. I'm going to try to do this. It can be made to work. Instead of a platinum with transit systems, I'm going to use a platinum to try to simulate what I was doing, Runkov, in that years. Because now it's much easier to do this. Without this platinum, you can use electronic switches, such as a transistor, for example. I'm going to try to put this little batch so that when it magnetizes, it's broke. And I'm going to put a contact here, very similar to the old bells from before. I am making a contact that is going to open at the moment that the core is magnetized. It will produce an opening and a closing. The tension in the primary goes on this cable, and I'm going to put it at one end of the platinum. We are going to put platinum on it. This can be done with transient, I already told you. There are many transient circuits, but I'm going to do it as it was done Runkov at the time, which is the best important to see how they work at that time and how they made it work. Here we are going to put two contacts very close to see how the high voltage jumps. At these two ends, the high voltage should jump when I generate the vibration in the platinum. This goes to be a negative contact that we are going to take from the core. Like I said before, this is an ignition coil, but it's similar to the Runkov coil. Well, now we change the socket so that it can be seen more precisely. I'm going to put a condensate at the ends of the platinum to improve the resonance because everything is also based on resonance. To avoid perforation of the platinum by the action of the tension. Here I put the condenser at one end and this will go to the other end, which is here now. Now, at this moment, I am going to loosen and we are going to put the two together like this and we are going to screw it onto the same connector that I have prepared here. Well, there is the condenser in parallel with the small plate. 
Here, the high voltage spark will be produced because it has a coil with many turns. And that is how all the ignition coils work. It has a primary that will be interrupted by the electromagnet attracting. The contact will open immediately. It returns backwards and this vibration is repeated indefinitely. That will cause the magnetic field to vary in the primary coil and induce in the secondary, as Runkov determined in that year, a very high voltage that will depend on the amount of turn. In this case, we are going to be about 15,000 volts, 12,000 volts, because it is a small coil. I'm going to connect the negative here, and we are going to try to make it work by putting the positive here. Look, it works. Look how it raises the voltage by making cuts in the primary. If we could separate a little more. Well, there you have the Runkov coil working. I extended the distance. The oscillation in the platinum, which can vary the frequency. According to the elasticity of the sheet, the frequency varies. I'm going to see if I turn off the light. The sparks that are produced here are those of the primary and the high voltage induced secondary. Now I'm going to turn off the light to see better. You have just seen the operation of the Runkov coil and how important it was for that time, from which the other invention of our genius Tesla and also of Marconi with wireless transmission and wireless telegraphy. This has a fundamental value for the time, because I already told you, predates our scientists what Runkov had determined. It was widely used even today. It is used for the ignition of internal combustion engines. At that time, I already told you, Henry Ford made the cars go with the Runkov coil. Keep in mind that I did this with a platinum and with the same precariousness of the time. Why? Because this can be done with a transistor, with an oscillator, for example, the Julie Tiff, the famous Julie Tiff which is an oscillator just like this one. It just used another type of coil at another frequency. At some point, we are going to talk about it. But the idea of platinum, as it was really done in the 1800s, so that you can see what the technology of the time was like. It is very important that if you like this video, that does us a lot of good to our channel. Until next time and write us if you are interested in any questions.